Uh, hi, my name is Ian Moss. I'm the designer of Dulasaur Island, and uh, I'm here to tell you why I think you should be excited about it, because I'm excited about it. Uh, there were a lot of things uh, from playing Dinosaur Island um, that I really, really enjoyed. Uh, it's this game here. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. Uh, but besides that, um, a lot of things that I enjoyed about it, but it's a, it's a very large game. It takes up a lot of space, and I kind of wanted to see if there was a way that I could make a two-player version of it uh, work. So I, I made a prototype, and I tried it, and a lot of things worked, and some things didn't, so I changed it, tried it again. That's how the process goes. And eventually it just became a game that was really fun and really interactive and it worked perfectly as a two-player game. Um, so one of the main reasons that I think that it works really great is that it has a mechanic with the dice, because of course you need the dice, that's one of the best parts about Dinosaur Island, is those big chunky dice. So Dulasaur Island definitely has the same big chunky dice. Uh, you will have five of those that you're going to roll every round, and instead of just placing them on the thing, you will actually choose where you place them on a draft board. And some of the things you will be placing them on will give you certain bonuses uh, if you take it. So if you take a die that will give you DNA, some things will multiply that DNA that you get. Or they'll even give you coins or other benefits or sometimes even victory points. Uh, but the thing is, is after you place all the dice out... The other player is the first person who decides what to take. So you split them up onto the different bonuses, and the other player gets the first choice. So you have to sort of decide what you want versus what you're willing to give your opponent. So I think that's one of the things that works really well. Uh, one of the other things that I really enjoy about the game is that all of the items in your park, the dinosaurs and attractions, those are all cards now. So that is a deck of cards. Every card has a dinosaur and an attraction on it. And you are able, well, you have to choose which thing you want to do with each card. Uh, you can use it to build a new dinosaur by spending the DNA. You can use it to uh, build an attraction into your park by spending your, mo uh, your money. Or you can discard it to mix DNA or do various effects. Uh, one of the other things that is carried over is the specialists. The specialists are all... Uh, are also a thing that you draft during the drafting portion will give you abilities throughout the game. But you can also, instead of drafting them, discard them for a one-time ability if you really need that extra coin or that extra card or a little bit more DNA than what you had before. Uh, there's a lot more to it. It has a variable game length, just like the original Dinosaur Island, so you can play however long of a game that you want, uh, which I think is great because you can play a short game for teaching people and then just dive right into a medium and long game if you're really hoping. A uh, long game even takes maybe a half hour also at the longest so it's a nice uh, short fun strategic game that I hope you get the chance to check out and uh, bye I guess.